Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to be taking you on a little tour through Hostinger to give you an idea of what to expect, walking you through all the key features and tools you'll need to get started. Whether you're setting up a new website or managing an existing one, I'll cover everything you need to know to make the most out of Hostinger. Before we get started though, I wanted to let you know about a useful offer. If you're thinking about using Hostinger, you can find a discount link in the description below. Just click the link and you'll automatically get a site-wide discount on your hosting plan. No promo needed. However, if you want want to save a bit more, you can use our code SITESTARTERS for an extra 10% off, so feel free to use whichever option works best for you. Now, your whole Hostinger experience starts once you log into your accounts and you're greeted with the dashboard, where you'll find several key sections, each serving a specific purpose. The Websites tab is your main section for managing everything related to your sites. From here, you can create new websites, migrate existing ones from other hosts, or manage your current sites. You'll also have access to website statistics and site-specific tools. The Emails tab is where you can manage email accounts associated with your domain, provided your hosting plan includes email services. You can create new email addresses, set up email forwarding, and configure email security features like SPF and DKIM records. If you need to manage your domain names, the Domains tab is where you'll go. Here you can register new domains, renew existing ones, update DNS settings, transfer domains from other registrars, and configure domain privacy settings to protect your personal info. For those using a VPS or virtual private server, the VPS plan section gives you access to VPS management tools. You can monitor server performance, manage resources, and adjust server settings. This section is important for people who need more control over their hosting environments compared to shared hosting plans. The billing section is where you'll manage payment methods, view invoices, and handle any billing related issues. While we won't dive deeply into this today, it's important to know that this is where you update your payment information and review your payment history. In the marketplace section here, you can find all sorts of handy add-ons to to enhance your experience, whether you need a new website theme, extra plugin, or even SSO certificates for added security, it's all there. You can also grab domain services, backup solutions, or get help with site migration. It's really just a one-stop shop for everything you might need, so you can check it out if it's ever necessary. If you ever need any help, click the question mark icon in the top right corner for 24-7 chat support. You'll also find a comprehensive knowledge base filled with tutorials, guides, and FAQs to help you navigate any issues. When you're ready to build your site, start by going to the Websites tab and selecting Add Website. Here you can select your platform. Now if you're trying to go for something more casual like a blog or a photography site, I'd recommend using Hostinger's in-house AI builder for its ease of use, but you can also opt for WordPress if you plan on building an e-commerce store. Just keep in mind that WordPress requires a paid domain. I do have full-length tutorials for both platforms, by the way, in the description, which you can use to get yourself started. Moreover, the AI builder can automatically create your site based on your preferences or you can select a pre-made template and customize it. The AI Builder is great for a quick setup, while templates offer more design control. When using the AI Builder, you'll need to name your site and provide a brief description. For instance, you might name it Zinger and describe it as a blog about your favorite topics. This helps the AI tailor the site to your needs. I tried it for a site about cars and airplanes, but it didn't quite meet my expectations, which is why I say don't use this for professional use. Once your site is up and running, Hostinger provides a range of tools to fine tune its appearance. The editor tools on the left side of your dashboard let you add text, media, and pages. The drag and drop interface makes it simple to adjust fonts, colors, and layouts. Then you can use the search functionality to find specific tools or features quickly. Just type what you're looking for into the search bar and it will direct you to the right place. And lastly, when you're building and testing your site, you can use a free temporary domain which is included with all of the plans except for VPS hosting. This is perfect for initial developments, but once you're ready to go live and attract customers, you can switch to a permanent domain. And that's a wrap for today's video, folks. I've covered the basics, but there's way more to explore. If you have any further questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. And don't forget to use the discount link in the description and code SITESTARTERS to save a bit more. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and share it with others who might find it useful. Thanks for watching as always, and I will see you in the next one.